Okay, here I wanted to cover um, the construction of my um, my uh, dust fence for, I guess, the uh, no better reason for it. So I actually went through multiple iterations of this thing until um, um, I actually think I've got it dialed into where I, 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 I really like it. Um, so what I've done is this fence is actually is is float, so it's actually built into two parts. So there's so what the table this table saw has three sections, which is a good way to build your your tabletop. So you can actually move these tabletops along. So what, I, what I've done is I've taken I do have a a non dust clearing fence that's flat with this particular one, but this is the one I have up there. So what I've done is I've actually um, you can see it's just kind of layers of MDF kind of stacked together. So that bottom piece is one, but this just kind of sits on top of those and I can slide. And what I really like is I always want my stuff to be zero clearance. So I've got an incredibly good indexing things. So I know exactly where I'm going to cut. So I've got an old uh, saw blade. So I'm just going to throw that in there. And what I could do is once I, once I get a new bl blade set up, I just slide this in there tight. I would, I would raise it. And then what I do is I cut it. And so once I've cut that, I've indexed it. Now over time, it'll get a little notched out at the bottom. So I'll have to take it over and uh, cut it. You can see there's a little notch down there where it's already seen it's done a little bit of that. But you can slide it over. I could just cut it clean and then go that. And so I, I left myself material on the ends. Now what I was thinking is I've got like just a, just a very simple channel that I've cut with my uh, table saw just right down. And I put a little um, bar stock that just sits on top of the rails of the table saw. So, so this thing is kind of supported in the middle um, by that. And it's under the tabletop, so you don't have to worry, you know, you're never gonna cut that deep into the particular table. So yeah, this piece is kind of the same just there. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and pull this up. And what you'll see is this is just a box. I've got, you know, it's another stack over here, but there's a lot there. So there's my dust collector. Um, it, right there and then this is just a channel so once this is all in here it's relatively airtight it just sits down right there um then i'll pull the pull the, the dust now the thing is is i typically have a dado set on there so it's not um 100 on that but with a reg with a narrow blade it's actually very good um but it still it still helps control dust my uh table saw doesn't i have it hooked up to dust collection too but the factory dust collection on that's mediocre at best so it probably does as good or better than that even with the dado set oh the reason it's not there is i i, I didn't want to turn the dust collector on because of noise because i just filmed a different video but anyway um uh, i thought it was uh worth sharing it's based on you know some thinking and uh some things that other people have done on uh, youtube so um i finally got it dialed in i guess what, what I, let me show, show one little thing about this construction so what i did do is i did cut that in and I uh, ended up screwing it. I was kind of worried that as I sacrifice it at some point, I might have to m remove a screw. Um, and of course I didn't want to clamp it up and wait long enough for glue. So I just put some screws in there, but you'll see that there's just a channel cut down there. And that doesn't have to be that fancy. You could even uh, just put it on top, but I went ahead and did that. So that's all it is. It just kind of sits there. But anyway, like I said, it gives you the indexing uh, over, over time. It gives you a channel for the dust collector to work with. Um, and it's worked uh, relatively well, so it'll be an idea for you.